Alrighty. Hold my snowshoes and my legs. We're getting ready to head out to the woods for the night. It's supposed to get down to zero Fahrenheit. Wish us luck. All right, folks, we are here at Sand Dunes State Forest. A little bit nervous getting in because the roads aren't um, plowed and we have a minivan, but we were able to find a spot to park. We're gonna go try and find ourselves, a, find ourselves a place to camp if we can. We're probably not gonna do too much recording because sun's going down. We gotta get camp set up. So got our snowshoes on, about to get our packs on, trek into the woods see if we can find something all right it's uh, about 15 degrees out fahrenheit sun's going down so we found a spot for camping we have got to get our stuff set up though so i'm gonna go harvest some wood if i can cody's gonna set up the tent wish us luck it's really hard to take a shot while you're doing it try one more time <laughs> So before we lose sunlight completely, because the sun is down now, but we still have some light. I've harvested a pile of wood to begin with. There's a big, large group of just fallen, old fallen trees just right up, I don't know, maybe 30 feet from us. So that'll make it easy to go grab more by headlamp if we need to. Cody's got the tent going. We brought our heavier, bigger tent because we have the pulk sled that we pulled. So then that way, it's supposed to get real cold and we figure once we get in for the night, we'll spend most of our time probably in the tent. So we wanted a little bit of extra room. We can pull our packs inside with us overnight, that type of thing. So on to setting up the sleep systems. So I just threw in each of our sleeping pads. They're self-inflating to a point but I want to allow them to suck in as much air as they can through the valves um, of the cold air. So then that way I'm putting in the least amount of hot air that could um, lead to like, you know, it's going to be freezing and I don't want to like freeze it up inside there. And then we also pulled out our sleeping bags because to allow the down to decompress and that's where you get all of your insulation from. So to let them kind of suck up and fluff up, I guess, is the bigger word. These are sucking up. These are fluffing up. Cody's working on processing the wood and getting us a fire going because he's my Mr. Jeremiah Johnson. And now I'm going to get some of our water in the bag so that it won't freeze. Alrighty, so Cody's got a fire rolling. I'll show you that in a little bit. I'm just continuing to harvest wood because we need it. And then we'll uh, maybe get to making some food. You can see the fire actually in the behind me, that little red glowing light back there. That's the fire Cody's got going. Temperature's dropping. It's getting, uh, it's getting cold out. We got a fire rolling. Wood is processed. Cody over there is getting the last bits of it. We got our tent is set up. Got our gear and our pulk sled there. Got my little spofine stool. So after this, we're gonna sit down and enjoy ourselves a nice meal. We got some pho, just add hot water and we'll have some nice rice noodles and broth. And we got some trail mix and different stuffs for snacking. So I was nervous when we pulled up here considering we don't have a four by four getting back on this forest road, but you know what? I am beyond happy to be out. This is a great birthday. Love you, Coco. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Little spots on the tree. Branches broke off branches. Make a good place to hang the snowshoes. Well, that took what? Wee hour and a half do you yeah. think yeah about an hour and a half 
to find a spot, set up tent, get a bunch of wood, and get to the point where, well, I'm ready to eat some food. before bed plus we've been told if you put boiling water in an algae and it'll warm up your sleeping bag real good so we're gonna try that out Ooh, my boot is steaming hey there coco hey. happy birthday it's your birthday it's my birthday <laughs> cody's playing with the schnoz those look so big with this lighting. We are staying warm. What's the temperature? Okay. Fair ten, ten degrees, so it's dropped five degrees since we got here, but we're staying warm. Galileo! Galileo! I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy of the family. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? It's nice, no, nurse, no, nurse, no, nurse, no, nurse, nurse, no, Bismilla. Bismilla. Think it, think it, think it, think it. Yeah. Heck yeah. We've got a phone call. I've never actually tried a mountain house meal. Uh, I can't remember. We'll check it in Delmark. Biscuits and gravy is like vomit, uh, and a turd had a baby, and then they vomited out with that meal. That that sounds about right. <laughs> I got it. Mother's got heart. My brother found God. <laughs> That's how you boil water. Good evening, folks. Uh, weather update. It is 917 and it is single digits. Currently 9 degrees and clear. Thank you.
Uh, uh. <laughs> I think I died. I see the light. <laughs> I think we made it through the night because it's uh, just about 7 a.m. What's the temp, Coco? Can you tell with your thing? <laughs> he has to go all the way inside here. That's that's me. Negative zero. Negative zero. <laughs> that's so defeatist. <laughs> Could have given us one. Negative zero. It couldn't even be just zero. Condensation is. Ooh, it's like stars. Little well, specks up there. Little sparkly. Little sparklies. See, like I get condensation. Ugh, like all this is because it gets icy and wet. But I okay, so I can say this. I can take this bag to zero. I slept horribly. But then again, not as bad as it could have been. So I wouldn't want to go out any colder than this, though. Unless we invested in one of them $670 Thermarest negative 40 degree sleeping bags. What about a hot tent? That, you know, like, honestly, if we had had, if we have a get a hot tent, um, fuck yeah. Because... We can stoke up the fire. Yeah, we can, oh my god, imagine, like, in the morning when it's cold and you could just kind of, like, have a prep for yourself and stoke up the <laughs> ugh, stoke up the fire like <laughs> without really having to get out that'd be nice we could Cody stoke up the fire right now just light me on fire officially morning and get to do the dance of trying to put your stuff away Alrighty, it's uh, about 8 a.m. We got back at the van. We got ourselves packed up. It's, uh, it's a cold one, so you can probably see the frost on me. So, God, getting out of bed at negative zero degrees Fahrenheit was tough, but we got to get uh, the van back into town because we're getting new tires on it today. Could have used them yesterday when we were coming in on the road but it was a success i gotta cover my face back up before i get frostbit and we're back <laughs> we don't have to scrape the windshield <laughs> i don't want to all right where's the scraper new hickey we made it Utah, I can't believe we hit a Utah, I negative zero. Zero degree weather. Negative <laughs> 30, 40, yeah, negative zero. Hey. Hashtag my uh, lockdown challenge. Well, Got it. week one of my lockdown challenge complete. It was cold. <clears throat> it was cold. Yeah. I was a little bit nervous that we weren't going to be able to make this work yesterday. I am just so glad that we were able to find a place to park. And I think Tundra camping was a success. Thank you for watching. Cody, do the like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.